I've started by remixing the original Voron board bracket. I've added some additional mounting holes which will hold my board in place. This time I will be using my MKS Gen L board. It's a bit old but I don't have anything better at the moment. The board connects to the bracket using four screws. I will be using regular M3 screws along with regular nuts. Now that the board is mounted on the bracket, it can be installed inside the printer. I will use the M3 screws with T nuts to install the bracket onto the extrusion. I've put down my printer on the floor for easier access to the frame. I'll slide the bed away as well. The board goes directly underneath the bed extrusion and connects with the horizontal profile. I've decided to mount it on the left side of the frame. The bracket needs to be installed on the bottom row of the extrusion. You could install it on the upper one, but it will make things difficult later on. It seems that I'll have to move the board slightly to the left in order to access the USB. I will use the grill opening as a window for the cable. The original mainboard box won't be required anymore, so I can get rid of it completely. I'll have to remove the front grill in order to get the mainboard box out. I will remove the LCD for now as well, since I will reinstall it elsewhere. I'm not throwing out the original board, I might need it in future. Now I can attach the front grill back to the frame. I've used the same screws as before, everything holds tightly. Now it's time to connect all of the original wires to the new board. This step is pretty easy, every cable and socket is labeled. It took me about a minute to connect all of the wires, it's really easy. Now it's time to install the Marlin software onto the new board. After installing the firmware, printer is now ready to run. And that's how I installed the MKS board in my Ender 3. Thanks for watching everyone and a huge thanks to my patrons.